Happening today, the, the Georgia Supreme Court will hear arguments in the fight over plans for a Camden County spaceport. It comes after voters blocked the county from buying land for the spaceport in a special election back in March. News for Jack's reporter Ashley Harding joins us live. And Ashley, the county is challenging the outcome of that referendum. It certainly is, Bruce and Jennifer. Yes, the county argues that voters can only repeal certain types of ordinances, and it does not believe that the outcome of the special election was valid. Now, people who do not want the spaceport argue that the state constitution is on their side, and each will present their arguments in, superior, in court today. Camden County commissioners are not giving up on their goal of seeing rockets launched from southeast Georgia. They are asking the state Supreme Court to overturn the results of a March special election, where about 4,100 voters halted the purchase of land to build a spaceport. The county argues it's not valid since so few participated. By comparison, 9,000 of the county's 34,000 registered voters cast ballots in the May primary. Camden County wants to keep going. For some reason, they think this spaceport is so important. Steve Winkle has long opposed the project and believes the voters' decision should stand. The county commission has decided to fight that, that they want to overturn the decision of the voters and that took away their right to purchase the property. Uh, the, the spaceport plan uh, has been in play from more than 10 years. The project's supporters say it would boost the local economy, create more jobs, and bolster Camden County's presence in the space and technology industry. Here's a look at the case to be heard today. In it, the county argues Georgia's home rule provision for counties does not grant voters a veto power over the board's decision in this case. On the flip side, the three respondents, which include the probate judge who validated the referendum petition, contend that the appeals challenge of the referendum is moot because the election has occurred and its results certified. It goes on to say the judge had exclusive jurisdiction to determine the validity of the referendum petition. As this all transpires, the county is tied up in another ongoing lawsuit. This one is against Union Carbide, which owns the property. <laughs> And Union Carbide, which owns the land that the county wanted to buy, says that it's not interested in selling to the county and is not required to do so. But Camden County actually disagrees with that. That separate lawsuit is pending in a district court. Reporting live this morning, Ashley Harding, Channel 4, The Local Station.